Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Kahoot session. I'm just going to give it a couple of more minutes for people to join in, and then we'll get started. everybody. Just going to give it a couple more minutes to do, for people to join and then we'll get started on our Kahoot session. Seeing people join in. Hello, everybody. Okay. I'll get started on my introduction. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our Kahoot session that's here to test your loyalty and retention knowledge. For those of you who haven't done a Kahoot session before, Kahoot is an interactive platform that will test both your knowledge and your speed. So let's get ready. I'm going to share my screen. Very quickly, there we go. So on my screen, you'll be able to see a unique magic pin here, game pin. So if you head to the right hand side of your screen, under the session tab, there's a little button called Kahoot. And you can enter this game pin in here. Be sure not to put the uh, space in, that might trick you a little bit, but just put the numbers in and you'll, you'll be able to enter fine. And then it's going to prompt you to add a nickname. If you could add your full name, please, that'd be great. So we can make sure that whoever becomes First, whoever comes first is going to get their prize. I'm starting to see people join in. Hello. Give it a couple of more minutes for people to get set. In the meantime, I'll tell you a bit more about the prize. So the winner of today's Kahoot session is going to get a gift card worth £50. And they'll get to choose a gift from a range, their gift card from a range of Loyalty Lion merchants. Loyalty Lion works with over 10,000 merchants. So we've chosen a range of brands uh, from a range of different industries and across the globe. So you'll be able to get a gift card that will suit you. I'm still seeing players join in. So that's brilliant. I'll give it another couple of minutes. If you've just joined the session, uh, welcome. Uh, if you can head to the right hand side of your screen and under the session tab, you'll find the option for Kahoot. And if you put this game pin here into the, into the little box and add your full name, we can get started in a few minutes. Give it another minute, we'll start at five past. Nice to see so many people joining in. So in a second, you're gonna see the questions appear on screen and you'll be able to choose your answers from the right-hand side of your screen. Um, select your answer as soon as possible because you're going to be awarded for points for speed as well as the correct answer. After each question, we'll take a look at the top five leaderboard participants. So keep an eye out for your name there. Just to repeat quickly, if you're only joining us now, if you head to the right hand side of your screen and under sessions, you'll see the word Kahoot. And if you click there and enter in this game pin at the top without any space, just all numbers, add in your full name and we can get started then. Great. Okay. We're going to get started now. Don't forget your award of points based on speed and accuracy. So fingers on the buzzers and good luck, everybody. So first question, true or false? Acquiring new customers is more expensive than retaining them. Give people time to answer true or false. Acquiring new customers is more expensive than retaining them.
Remember, we need to answer quickly to get the most points. So give it a couple more seconds. Ah, everybody's answered in. So yes, the answer is true. It is more expensive to acquire new customers than to retain them. In fact, it's five times more expensive to acquire new customers than it is to retain your existing ones. So let's see, first off, who's in the lead. Amato, first place, uh, closely followed by Frank, Brittany, and Danks, and Rhiannon. Well done, everybody. It's very close scores, though, so let's move on to the next question. So what percentage of a customer's total spend for a year happens within the first 30 days they're a customer? Is it 29%, 49%, 69%, or 99%? So what percentage of a customer's total spend for a year happens within the first 30 days they're a customer? 29%, 49%? Or 99%? All right. Let's close the vote. Let's see what, what the answer is. Ah, people, a lot of people voted for 69%, and that is the correct answer. Well done if you picked 69%. It is 69% of a customer's first year spend comes within their first 30 days as a customer. So if you're looking to change this, a loyalty program is a great way to help you encourage repeat purchases beyond those first 30 days. It helps you to increase customer lifetime value and improve your average order value also. So let's see who's in the lead now. Amato, oh, sorry Amato, Rihanna has come in and taken first place. Uh, you're still in second though, Alex, Elliot and Ku in the following places, well done everybody. Let's head on to the next question. In the quiz, how much more will a customer spend if they can claim a reward before they check out? So 5%, 14%, 20%, or 36%. How much more will a customer spend if they can claim a reward before they check out? Give you some time to answer this one. We'll close the voting now. 36%, that is the right answer. Well done, everybody who chose 36%. Instant gratification and the ability to earn and spend rewards on their current purchase rather than after they've checked out can increase basket sizes by 36%. This is why world leading e-commerce brands are using in-cart in rewards to drive, deliver seamless loyalty experiences and it makes it easier for customers to redeem rewards during the checkout process rather than afterwards. Well done, everybody. Let's see how the scores are looking. Anku up in first place. We have a lot of jumping around here, which is fun. Jill, Ajo, Frank, Olivia, and Raphael. Well done. Let's head on to the next question. Question number four. Consumers with a what have a 306% higher lifetime value? Is it an emotional connection to a brand? No emotional connection to a brand. Coupons or pets? So consumers with a what have a 306% higher lifetime value, an emotional connection to a brand, no emotional connection to a brand, coupons or pets. Give the last few a couple of seconds to select your answers. I'm going to close the voting now. An emotional connection to a brand. Yes, well done, everybody. Almost everyone got this correct. That's good. Um, yes, emotional uh, consumers with an emotional connection to a brand have a 306% higher lifetime value. Not only that, consumers with an emotional connection can also continue to shop with brands for an average of 5.1 years and will be more likely to recommend your brand to others. So this is why we stress the importance of building uh, your customer community and reminding them of your brand values throughout their customer journey. Let's have a quick look at the leaderboard now. And who's still to top place? Jill, Ajo, Frank and Olivia and Rhiannon. Well done Ajo, four correct answers in a row, you're doing well. Let's head on to the next question. 
Question number five. What percentage of a customer's place of customers place a second order in their first year as a customer? So what percentage of customers place a second order within their first year as a customer? 2%, 32%, 62% or 82%? Give people a few seconds to answer. All right, let's close the vote. The answer is 32%. Well done everyone who got that correct. It is only 32% of customers who place a second order within their first year as a customer. Incentivizing customers to purchase again in their first year is crucial to increasing their customer lifetime value in the long run. So let's take a look at who's in the lead now. Anku holding on to the first place there. Ajo, Frank, Olivia, Cram and Danks also in top places. Well done, everybody. Let's take a look at question number six. So what percent of consumers say they favor companies that, that offer rewards? 25%, 50%, 75% or 100%? So what percent of consumers say they favor companies that offer rewards? Enjoying this Schitt's Creek uh, meme here, or GIF, sorry. Give it another couple of seconds for people to place their answers. What percent of consumers do say they favor companies that offer rewards? All right, let's close this vote here. It is 75%. Well done, everybody who got that correct. A whopping 75% of consumers say they favor companies that offer awards. Incentives have a large impact on consumers' attitudes towards brands, and surveys have found that favorability towards brands, increased towards brands that offer awards. So, and also personalized messaging was a, a playing a big role in boosting positive brand perception. So well done, everybody who got that correct. That was a good one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Oh, sorry, Anku. Cram has taken over. Uh, congrats, Cram, on getting up to first place now. And we have Jill, Brittany, and Ajo also in the top five. Well done, everyone. It's all to play for. It's moving around a lot. Let's see what happens after the next question. We're on to question number seven. So 44% of consumers want personalized rewards based on their what? Their birthday, social media followers, purchase history, or name? Give you a bit of time to think about this one. 44% of consumers want personalized rewards based on their what? Birthday, social media followers, purchase history, or name. Give it a few more seconds. A few people left still to answer. What do you think it is? All right. I'm going to close the vote now. It is their purchase history. Well done, everybody. The correct answer is purchase history. And this was a, this is from a study done by Deloitte. And in the same study, they, they found out that that number actually rose for 18 to 24 year olds to 54%. So when it comes to customers' attitudes to Lloyd's programs, research shows that personalization and relevance are high on the list of what cons consumers expect from the brands that they shop with. Well done, everybody. Let's go to see the scoreboard. Cram holding on to first place there, but it's shifting around uh, on the top five. But well, every, well done, everybody. Let's take a look now at question number eight. So what percent of loyalty program members haven't heard from a company since they signed up? Is it 5%, 30%, 65% or 85%? So what percent of loyalty program members haven't heard from a company since they signed up? Very interested to see what people think is the answer to this one. Give it a few more seconds for people to answer. All right. Let's take a look at the correct answer. It is 
85%. Not everybody got that one. Um, it is a whopping 85% of um, those program members who haven't heard from a company since they signed up. Very interesting that only one person got this, so it is quite shocking. Um, to see large programs succeed, you really need to be communicating with your members. A top recommendation of ours is to make sure you're integrating your large program with your email service provider or your SMS platform, because it will help to improve reward and point communication. You can let them know when they have points balance and when they have uh, rewards redeemed, redeemable. So just to drive them back to your large program and not leave them um, in the dark, not knowing what's going on. Um, very interesting. Let's see who's taken the lead now. Oh, looks like it stayed exactly the same. Interesting. Uh, well done, everybody. Let's take a look now at question number nine then. It's a true or false one. So. Consumers surveyed by Loyalty Lion said that loyalty points were likely to get them to make a purchase over Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So true or false, consumers surveyed by Loyalty Lion said that loyalty points were likely to get them to make a purchase over Black Friday, Cyber Monday. People, a few more seconds to answer. A couple of people. Okay, let's take a look and see what the answer is. It is true. Uh, well done, everybody who answered true. That is correct. We surveyed consumers and found that loyalty points were very likely, likely to get them to make a purchase over Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Very interesting um, when you think about the discounting that people tend to do over Black Friday, that um, something like loyalty points can also be a huge incentive to drive them to purchase over the weekend. Lovely, let's see who's, who's in this top lead now. Oh, sorry, Cram, you've moved down to fifth place, but Anku has moved up into first, Ajo, Jill and Brittany also in first place. Let's see what happens next. It's still very close. Um, who's gonna get this 50 pound voucher at the very end? We're gonna move on to question number 10 now. What percentage of customers said that a birthday offer would make them return to a brand to make a purchase if they hadn't in a while? So 10%, 30%, 50% or 70%. What percentage of customers said that a birthday offer would make them return to a brand to make a purchase if they hadn't in a while? Do you think it's 10%, 30%, 50% 50 or 70%? people some time to decide on this one. What do we think? All right, let's move on and see what the answer is. It is 70%. Well done, everybody that chose that as the answer. That is correct. 70% of customers said that a birthday offer would make them return to a brand to make a purchase if they hadn't in a while. You can use a loyalty program to award customers points in return for letting you know their birthday. And this is a really effective tactic that will drive repeat purchases in the future. We're getting close to the end now. So let's check and see how we're doing on the scores. Anku still in first place, well done. Brittany, Charlie, Rhiannon and Danks uh, coming up for the rest of the top five. Still lots of movement happening. It's all to play for and we still have a couple of questions left. Um, so let's see who is gonna be the leader. On to question number 11. So what percentage of loyalty program members do not know their points balance? Is it 7%, 27%, 47% or 57%? So what percentage of loyalty program members do not know their loyalty points balance? 7%, 27%, 47% or 57%? Oh, we got everybody answering that time, brilliant. And most of you guessed that correctly, it is a shocking 57% of 
Those program members do not know their points balance. Um, this is another really strong reason to integrate your large program with your email service provider or your SMS platform to really help improve that point of communication. You can let people know their points balance. You can have points expiry emails going out to remind them to use their points and just increase that communication. So again, people aren't left in the dark with their loyalty program status. Well done, everybody. Um, let's take a look and see what the scores are now. Anku holding on to first place must be really quick to answer. A um, bit more movement around with Danks and Raphael coming in. Well done. We still have time for one more question. So let's see who's going to be the winner. And our final question then, what percentage of shoppers said they would be loyal to a brand if they received personalized recommendations? Do we think it's 41%, 61%, 81% or 91%? What percentage of shoppers said they would be loyal to a brand if they received personalized recommendations? Do we think it's 41%, 61%, 81% or 91%? It is, oh, a lot of people thought it was going to be 81%. It is actually 61%. 61% of shoppers said they would be loyal to a brand if they received personalized recommendations. So personalization is becoming more and more of an expectation with shoppers and taking the time to send personalized product recommendations can have a really positive impact on brand perception. So well done, everybody. Let's take a look and see the scores and see who has finished as today's winner. Anku, <laughs> you held on to first place at the end there. Oh, no, sorry, that's third. Oops, I'm very sorry. Brittany, Brittany, well done. You are today's winner. Congratulations. You are officially the fastest and smartest here today at this Kahoot session. We will we'll follow up with you um, after the conference to arrange to get your £50 gift card prize. Well done on your loyalty and retention knowledge. Thank you again, everyone, for playing today. I hope this session was a really fun way for you to learn more about the value of building customer loyalty. It's now time to head back to the main stage for the next panel uh, about connecting to convert. So if you can head back to the main stage, you could wait there for the next session to start in just a couple minutes time. But thank you again for playing and enjoy the next session.